In this video today, we played Desert Bus on the Sega CD with the original hardware. And here's my first reaction to that happening. And at first, we didn't get it to work because I had a write speed of 4. But then I changed it to 1 with the second CD. And it finally works. So, enjoy the video. And here's how I got Desert Bus to work on the Sega CD. There are Sega CD coming in, right? And I made a copy of Desert Bus here. So... Yeah, we're going from the driveway here, right? The UPS driver is pulled up here, so I'm just going to grab a package here. So we're going to take a CD here. It's 10 pounds, so pretty crazy. So we're just going to unbox this here, and we're going to see if Desert Bus works on the Sega CD here. Hold on. So we're going to unbox this here, and I'll get back to you guys when we do that. So yeah, here we go. Now we have our package here now. So now we're just going to get rid of all this newspaper, and we got to grab our Sega CD thing here so it looks like it's oh it's already in the oh no i kind of want to drop it there it is so we have our sega cd here just like that right and in here we have our copy of desert bus for the sega cd right here as you guys can see i made a copy of it it's just a cdr minus r or you yeah, know cd minus r so basically as you guys will see here in a second whenever this thing pops up here hold up um let's see here Oh man, I'm so excited to see if this works here or not. Alright, so here we go. Oh, so as you guys can see right here, I put Desert Bus on the thing. Here's all the files that it has or whatever. All they just accumulate to make Desert Bus, I guess. So we're going to take our CDR. I'm actually going to plug this in here first. I've never even had a Sega CD before. This is so cool. <laughs> there we go. I oh, yeah, see Sewer Sharks inside. That's our Sega CD thing right there. So you just... There we go. We don't want Sewer Shark in here, though. We want our actual thing here. So, uh, hopefully this works here. If not, it's not a big a deal. Um, I'm not sure if it comes with the prongs or not. Let's see. Oh, man. Here we go. Here we go. We got a six button Genesis pad right there. All right. And then we got Sewer Shark. Um, uh, any other stuff here? Got this game. I don't really want that, but that's all right. All right. Whatever this is, that's the power supply. Oh, man. Hmm. There's all this other stuff here. Oh, that's for the Genesis, I think. Um, that is. I think we need the plate, don't we? I think we do. I'm not even sure. Um... I got our Sega CD though, so that's the main thing. I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not. Oh, hopefully it does. Oh man. I think it just plugs in here just like that. Maybe. That feels like it works. Um no, I'm gonna plug it in, so I'm gonna plug it in here right quick and it'll be all good. So as you can see, TV says no signal right now. But we'll fix that here in a second. So here we go. So we got the Sega CD working, right? So right now it's set on Sewer Shark. At least it should be, because that's the thing that's in the disc. I really hope this works. We're like, I'm telling you right now, bro, this works right now. I'm gonna be like so hyped, it's not even funny. It's gonna be one of the first ever times. I said, Sewer Shark works. Hopefully, this isn't destroy the system by doing that. Here we go. So, we got, yeah, there's like no, <laughs> oh my god, there's no protection against, oh my god, that's not even funny. Right here. <laughs> that is not smart, but. Hey, that's all right though because uh, that's Sega for you. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our Desert Bus CD out of here. Totally legitimate copy. Please work. I'm just really hoping this works. That's like the only thing I'm wishing for. Now, guys, you gotta be careful because this can give you uh, invisible laser radiation. Yeah, you got what I'm saying. No, we're not listening to that. We're listening to some of that Desert Bus. Let's turn that bad boy on. Hopefully this works. Please work. Checking disc. Please work. Checking disc, come on. Takes forever to load a disc, but that's all right. Just as long as it works. Just as long as it works. Come on, come on, come on. Please wait. Oh wait. I think that's because I'm hitting the start button. It's raining a disc. Doing something. 
Oh my god, come on man, come on, just read the disc, read the disc, come on now, come on, come on, come on. Please just read the disc. Please, <laughs> please read the disc. Please just read the disc. Okay, ready? we're going to try and start it maybe again. Just in case. So we're going to hit the reset button. And we're going to... Close the CD door, yeah. Well, we'll do that here in a second, Mr. Uh, Sega CD here. Alright, so yeah, I mean, it says CD minus R. As you guys can see right there. I'm trying to get a little more of a closer shot on that. CD minus R, as you guys can see. There we go. Please work. Well, let me focus on that right quick here. Checking disc. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please. It's, it's doing something because this thing's flashing. It's working because Red Sewer Shark. Okay, this game. Never even played it before, but I've seen it before, obviously, but I've just never played it. Come on, man. This would be a miracle if this worked. What in it? Oh, man. Alright, so just in case I'm placing this in here wrong, maybe. Maybe we. Why is it not? What the heck? Hold on, bro. Okay, so yeah, it's reading. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Well, we gotta close our CD door. Alright. Checking disc, come on. I really don't think it's gonna work, but got a keyboard. Okay, so we're gonna try this again here, maybe. Let's see. I know Sega CDs take quite a long time to read, so we're gonna make sure to stop spinning here. Says I don't want to destroy the disc. My desert bus for the Sega CD. Don't want to destroy that disc because that's pretty precious. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully this works. Uh, okay, so we got Sewer Shark in here again. Checking disc. Come on, come on, come on. So yeah, I'll tell you please wait, I think. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, okay. Hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Why does that not work? So yeah, that's sewer shark right there. Hmm. We know he's trying an audio CD over here I have. Uh, we'll go with, um, uh, let's go with, what CD should we go for? Um, oh, I'll Led Zeppelin. This one's a pretty good album here, so we're just going to test this out. Because I, I think the Sega CD reads audio CDs as well. I mean, it would make sense. So we're just going to see if it reads this. Led Zeppelin. Please work. We're not gonna play any of the album, obviously, because well, that'd be copyright. Well, okay, yeah. Does this actually work? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, okay, yeah, that works. All right, fair enough. So it's um, man. Okay, well, this does not work. So we're going to have to do a little more experimentation here. And uh, hopefully we'll get this to work here. Because quite obviously whenever we insert it into the thing, once again, it is not reading it for whatever reason. Now let's hit the reset button. Here we go. Let's try it one last time. Maybe, maybe there'll be a miracle. Probably not though. It's always fun to watch the Sega CD logo do its little 3D animations, but still, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for... Come on. I'm just glad it works, because I mean, I'm, I wasn't really too sure if it was going to work or not. So... It does not appear to work because, well, yeah, that's that. That's nice. Um, 
Well then, we're gonna need to do a little more experimentation, as I already said, and um, we'll see if I upload this on YouTube or not. But uh, if I do, I mean, hey, this will be the first step to getting Desert Bus to work on a Sega CD, hopefully. On original hardware, of course. I mean, we can easily do it on an emulator, but this is original hardware here, as you guys can see. This is Desert Bus. Hold on. Wait for it to stop spinning. Come on now. You can do it. As you guys can see, this is Desert Bus on the Sega CD, quote unquote. Just like that. And yeah. Hopefully we can get to work, but if not, we'll wish our Sega CD here with our Sewer Shark, I guess. So yeah, um, guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Update here, uh, so I just made a new copy of Desert Bus. It doesn't have all the fancy font and everything like that, right? Our old copy of Desert Bus is somewhere over there. Um, so we're going to place this one in here, right? Place that in there, right? Here we go. Actually, we need to hit the reset button, I believe. Uh, there we go. So checking disc. Oh, man, I was so hyped. Ray Shark me a second ago. Push the start button and look at this, boys. Look at this. This is crazy, bro. I'm telling you right now, bro, this is one of the biggest accomplishments I've ever done for a video game. <laughs> I think the issue I had before was I did it at right speed of four. This one I did at one. So, I mean, obviously it takes a little while to load because it's, you know, that's the way it normally works on Fusion, right? But then look at this. Desert Bus working on the Sega CD. Crazy, dude. Oh, my God, bro. I can't believe this, bro. I got a little bit of gameplay here just to show you that it actually is a legitimate thing. So, as you can see, I had the controller plugged in here, right? Up into the thing right here. See this thing? I'm moving the coin. That's what it's doing, right? Pen and Teller, Smoke and Mirrors. Here we go. We're the Sega CD. Never has been playing on a Sega CD before, though. Oh, my God, bro. This is crazy, dude. You got all the clips and everything like that. Working on the Sega CD. I just can't believe that, man. Desert bus. Oh my god, bro. With a Sega... Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. I can't believe it. I really can't believe I did this, man. I really can't believe it. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. I just can't believe it, man. It actually works. It actually works. Amazing, bro. Oh, my God. Okay. We're going to change our name here. Uh, let's do... Do Eclipse. If I can. Let's see here. Uh, e. I think you got to press the B button and switch over to the next thing. Yeah, there we go. All right. C. L. Come on. There we go. L. I... He, come on, there you go. P, Z, actually you can probably just go like this. There you go, Z, and then we need one last thing right here. Need the blank thing, and then, okay, Eclipse A, I guess, why not? Well, you know, I mean, it's the more or less the A moments, I guess, since we got this working, so turn this up here a little bit, just so you know that you can actually hear it. With the Genesis pad. Now I'm going to be able to play it effectively here. That's alright though. Come on, start moving that bus. Your driver is Eclipse A. There's a little thing here. Come on, we need to move the, move the bus over to the right. Come on now. There you go. Just like that. Where's the horn? Oh, shit. horn the horn's the start button. Man, oh my god, this is such an accomplishment, bro. Desert Bus working on the Sega CD. Just like that. Crazy, dude. Oh my god. I still can't believe it, bro. I really can't. Oh yeah, look at it. It looks like it already read all the data because the disc, I mean, you can just remove it. Which is the way out you can normally do with a PlayStation 1 disc, right? You can still play it. <laughs> because, um... That's the way how PlayStation discs work, and I guess Sega CDs as well. You can place the disc right back in, and uh, it'll work. So I guess the game, uh, it's pretty crazy. All right, well, I guess we'll watch our tow truck scene here, and uh, that'll be that. I just rode around away like two minutes for it to come, though, so that's nice. All right. I 
Alright, we're gonna try to get out of the sand here. <laughs> I love that sound, bro. It's hilarious. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh my god, right stuff here. Look, I got this working. Oh my god. Man, crazy, dude. I'm telling you right now. Crazy. Oh my god, bro. I just can't believe I got that working. I mean, the C Sega CD is not C or copper protected, right? But still, man, it's just like, oh my god. <laughs> Desert Buzz's work on this thing is just like, like an unreleased video game working on this thing. Like on, like on original hardware. It's crazy, dude. I mean, I'm just telling you right now, oh my god. Oh, man. Here's our tow truck scene. Come on, we want to hear the noises, boys. We want to hear the noises. I don't think in the Sega CD version, at least the one I have, doesn't do the uh, old beeping noise and everything like that, I think. So, it'll start making noises, I believe, though, after a certain point. Come on. You can hear the little thing. I mean, you probably can't hear it because I can barely hear it. I mean, it is making noise a little bit, not much, though. It's not like the actual game itself, it's just like the uh, audio cables. There we go. I sit it's so hard to keep my hands steady right now because this is just crazy, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> So we're about to stop here, and then, you know, you obviously have the Bugs and Rudy's towing service, I believe it's called. Yeah, Bugs and Rudy's, yeah. Never, never, desert never sleeps, and neither do we, but the desert is about to go to sleep because we successfully got Desert Bus working on the Sega CD. That's just crazy, bro. Oh, my God. I'm telling you right now. But, yeah, successful day here today with our quote-unquote Desert Bus on the Sega CD here, but, uh... Yeah, I mean, this is great. That worked. And, um, yeah, besides that, we're going to have to end out the video here officially. Even though that we said we were going to end the video like seven minutes ago. So, hey, uh, have a nice rest of your day, guys.